To learn about the off-grid lifestyle and to be inspired to live your dreams, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. Okay, so it's 5.30 and we know that the chicks will go to sleep at 6. No matter what you're doing, they're going to go to sleep at 6. 5.30, we've been transferring them to their sleeping area. So down here, they play all day. See how excited they are? They get pretty excited. Your hands down here, they'll... They're nipping at it. <laughs> and so what we do is we put them up here at nighttime. And it, I think it keeps them a little warmer. You know, we keep a window open because it's so hot in here. You know, we keep it about 80 degrees in here. Not intentionally, but that, that's what's happening. So I'm going to transfer you because this is kind of a fun game that we've gotten into. The buff Orpingtons are just the friendliest little things. And they get all excited. I thought you would enjoy watching this. See, the more we handle them, the more friendly they get. And they like it when you rub their neck right here. They absolutely love that. They'll go to sleep in your hand. This makes them a little bit more friendly. You see this one, very friendly. They like it when you rub their neck though. Now this is where the fun begins because they all start to line up here. See if I close the door, then they all, then they act childish, and and you'll watch them, and they'll come up to the window and they'll say, "Hey, it's not bedtime yet," and they'll want to they'll want to play. They won't do it tonight. Nope, there, there they come. See, and they all line up at the window. So I felt bad last night, and I opened up the door, and so they all see immediately. We come to the edge. And they'll fly down onto my lap. See, I, last night I was on the bed, and they were trying to fly over to the bed. Of course, they couldn't make it yet. So that gave me a chance to pick them back up, hold them right there. Did you see that? And so this gives me a chance to, to hold them and get them tamed down a little bit. Because when they're bigger, I want to be able to just pick them up and put them wherever I want to. I don't want to have to chase them all over the yard. And they get jealous. You pet one, the other one was petted. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. These are the best chickens I've ever had. Normally, you know, we'd have a box upstairs and with the heat lamp and everything, and you try to pick them up, they'd run away from you. You couldn't catch them. They'd panic. These are just some amazing chicks. Buff Orpingtons, if you're interested in getting friendly chickens, these are the ones. Now this is not a buff, I don't think, but he, uh, it, whatever it is, is still pretty friendly. But you see how he's jumping around? Not quite as friendly as the buff Orphingtons. We'll do this for a half an hour, and then they'll go inside and they'll, they'll calm down. That one that is not a buff, it's quite the escape artist. You can tell he acts differently or she, I'm not sure which what it is. See how this one's getting jealous? But this one it does not act the same as the others. Back out he goes. <laughs> oh no, that's that's not him. This is a buff. I wonder if that's the one that was getting jealous. So I have to admit that this cold snap that we had that lasted, what, for two weeks maybe, really has taken the wind out of my sails or the steam out of my engine. I was really being motivated all year. Every day I was doing something, getting healthy, getting stronger all the time. Well, this morning I woke up to, and uh, walked across the room and realized I've gained some weight. In just the two or three weeks that I've been kind of just lazing around, not do anything. I mean, I, I just got finished building a tiny house and I was feeling so strong and built it all by myself. Nobody helped and all of a sudden I'm, I'm back to being out of shape and lazy. 
I tried to pull some firewood out of the woods last night using my little pull wagon and I was out of breath. I mean, that fast. Kind of depressing when you think about it. So I got to get motivated again and, and get started doing things. I mean, there's a lot to do in this property, a lifetime of work, and I can't be sitting around hoping that it's going to get done by itself. So yesterday I told you that coming soon, as soon as the temperature warms up and stays above freezing, I'm going to build a back porch to the house, or at least the roof, I should say, and then I'm going to build a little lean-to over the, like a barn pole shed over the wood pile. But we got more pressing matters that I need to start worrying about. We got chickens that are going to come outside within the five or six weeks, and I don't really have anything set up for them yet. We bought that little chicken tractor, and that was going to be okay if we had four or six chickens, but, you know, we're going to have a little bit more than that. And I looked it up, and a chicken needs about two square feet per chicken, and that little chicken tractor would have been fine uh, for four chickens, which is what our original plan is. Well, now we got eight, and it looks like they're going to survive. We talked about getting some more maybe next year. Of course, I've been working on my chicken run. Uh, I stopped working on it, but Carolyn and I are going to get back working on that tonight. And maybe even get it finished tonight. So we've been shopping around looking for bigger chicken coops and different options that we can look at. We saw one chicken coop, it was huge. I mean, just massive, taller than me. And it was 230 bucks and it was at Orsland's. Well, we came home, talked about it. We went back to Orsland's, I don't know, maybe three, four days later. And of course it was gone. It was on sale, but it was, it was gone. And anything that size now is $800. So, I mean, that, that's just, it's not even reasonable to think that we'd go get something like that. Then we thought about maybe using our old homemade camper that we'd lived in for four years as a chicken coop but that's where all the solar panel electrical stuff is the batteries the inverter the charge controller all that expensive equipment is in there chickens could tear that up carolyn suggested this morning that we go buy a metal shed you can buy these little six foot metal sheds uh, for like 350 bucks at lowe's and i was really considering it and i thought you know what maybe i should look at building one now, before I tell you how I'm going to build it, I want to take a stroll down memory lane with our camper. As soon as I tell you how I'm going to build this chicken coop, everybody and their brother is going to come out, including their aunts and uncles and cousins and nephews and sisters and descendants that were dead back in the 1800s, are going to come out and tell me, you can't do that. So I want to go in the camper and tell you, yes, you can. Now again, remember, we traveled in this camper for three years, I think, and then we uh, took it off the truck, went to South Dakota, over to the West Coast, went back to Florida, I mean, just Texas, we travel all over Texas with this. High winds, you know, New Mexico and Texas were just nothing but high winds. It's never needed fixing. And the whole time I was building this, using this, people told me it wasn't gonna work. We're going to go inside, but I warn you that we are tearing this place apart. We're tearing it apart to make it into a shed, well, or a chicken coop, but definitely a shed now. So it's in bad shape. This is not how we lived in it. You'll see that everything's messed up. Things are falling down. The thing I want to mention about this camper is the whole thing was made out of two by twos. You can see the roof is made out of two by twos. Structural supports are made out of two by twos. The whole thing was made out of two by twos. And the reason I did it that way is because it's so light. The thing only weighed 250 pounds. Well, this is exactly how I'm going to build the chicken coop out of two by twos. And it's gonna have little nesting boxes hanging out on the side. I built the chicken coop before. We're just gonna use two by twos and metal roofing material. Like this, this is $12 a sheet, $13 a sheet. And I don't need that many. I forget how many I need. But it came up to about 120 bucks, I think. So I guess 10 is what it came up to. And we'll use that for the outside, the roof and everything. Two by twos will be about 250 a piece. It'll be eight feet wide, four feet long, or four feet wide, whatever, and four feet tall. And we'll put it right here to cover up our plumbing. We'll straddle it. It'll be off the ground, probably about two feet. And then all the droppings can fall down and that'll compost. And after about six months, 
you can scoop all that up, it'll almost all be composted, be dirt. And I've done this before. This I want to be clear on this. I've done this before. And then so for the floor, we'll use this hardware cloth and the droppings will fall right through that. Well, mostly. I mean, you'll have to go in and brush it out every now and then. But the cleanup will be easy. In the wintertime, all you do is put a layer of straw over this and that'll keep them warm. Now, last time I built one, I made the roosting boxes. I just put a regular floor in it. I may go ahead and put this in the roosting boxes because they mess up the roosting boxes just as much. So we'll put this hardware cloth down and that'll keep it nice and clean in there. So that's my plans for tomorrow and the next few days is to build the chicken coop, get it done within the next you know couple weeks. So there's another project. So I hope I can inspire you to not get lazy when you're living your dream. Thanks for watching.